oppressive heat grips the tri-state. Some environmental groups are calling on FEMA to declare major disasters in instances of extreme heat or smoke from wildfires. As Fox Eyes Teresa Priola shows us, that declaration would free up federal funds like in the wake of a hurricane. I love the heat. This is the best. Look at me. Summer in the city can be the most amazing season or downright miserable. As the planet warms and hotter temperatures or even heat waves become more common, it begs the question, could something be done to help cool things off? The answer is maybe. It's a problem. People pass away from excessive heat. There's a new petition circulating that asks FEMA to add excessive heat and poor air quality, like what we saw in the Canadian wildfires last summer, to the list of events that qualify as natural disasters. That way, federal resources could be available immediately. They're far more lethal than a lot of these other emergencies. I know there's a lot of pro property damage when it comes to um, you know, uh, hurricanes and so forth. But when you look at the sheer numbers of persons that die from heat, it's off the charts. As it stands, New York City has hundreds of cooling centers for days when it's excessively hot. But running them and funding them comes from the city budget. If FEMA steps in, federal dollars would be used. I think that is something that is well past due, should have been in place a long time ago. Um, the only issue that they're going to probably run into is the regional measurement. Natural disasters are declared for wildfires and other storms that may produce an excessive amount of property damage. In other states, FEMA has said there's nothing that precludes the agency from getting involved in an excessive heat crisis. FEMA went on to say they need to ensure that they're stepping into a situation that is beyond the capacity of the state to respond to. In Astoria, Queens, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.